There's a growing push for more consumer protections for airline passengers. The Department of Transportation is calling for several changes, including rule that would finally define a significant delay. So on your side, Susan here to explain what that is. Yeah, I know this sounds a little bit silly, but significant, that word has never actually right. been defined. So airlines yeah. owe you a refund if your flight is significantly delayed, but nobody has ever defined that word significant. So airlines are allowed to come up with their own policies. Consumer advocates say that needs to change as travelers face more delays and cancellations. Pat Eisenberg and George Klein got caught in Southwest's Christmas travel meltdown. It was an automated call from Southwest saying that your return trip on the 29th, your flight has been canceled. And that was that. A new flight on Southwest wouldn't take off for days. I was on hold for three hours and I never got through. So they booked on a different airline and gave the bill to Southwest. Pat's refund went through, George's didn't. The amount is $399.60. We're stuck, and it's, it's frustration. Frustration travelers across the country are facing more often. For about the last 18 months, if you go back to the fall of 21, every major holiday, every major heavy travel period, a lot of those have been a mess. You know, sometimes it's just one or two airlines. Sometimes it's more than just one, but it's never the same one. OK, so they've all had their share of problems. Teresa Murray from the Public Interest Research Group says staffing issues are contributing to the higher than usual number of flight cancellations and delays. Most airlines are only at about 75 percent of staffing overall. If your flight is canceled, the airline owes you a refund. They also owe you a refund for a flight that is significantly delayed if you choose not to travel. But the Department of Transportation doesn't define what that means. It's just stupid. In in the wording with from the Department of Transportation, they would say, you know, if your flight is significantly delayed, then the airline must do this. What's the definition of significant delay? Uh, we don't know. Well, now they're going to define it. According to a proposed rule that will be the subject of a hearing next week, the DOT wants to define a significant delay as three hours for domestic flights. Historically, the Department of Transportation has handled the airlines with kid gloves. And maybe we're starting to see that tide turn. Consumers deserve better. The airlines, they, they can't just get away with the same old junk anymore. Um, they have to do better. Last month, Southwest told lawmakers the vast majority of reimbursement requests following all of its holiday travel trouble have been handled. I know one that hasn't. We kept thinking, OK, they're going to get to Georgia's, they're going to get to Georgia's, and they didn't. I reached out to Southwest for Pat and George. The airline says they have assigned the case to a specialist and flagged it for priority resolutions. We are expecting that refund to come through soon. Another big issue uh, that consumer advocates want to tackle for passengers is family seating. We've heard a lot about this, that people have to pay a ton of extra money to right. make sure they can guarantee right. a seat next to their little one. The DOT just launched a dashboard that is going to show which airlines are going to commit to that free family seating option. Uh, so that just went live this week. Three airlines out of the 10 major ones have committed to that. So that is Alaska, American and Frontier so far. Okay. But they are hoping to not have to regulate it. They kind of are yeah. putting up this dashboard to maybe shame the airlines into it. I was going to say, it. I wonder if the airline, other airlines will follow those. Yeah, yeah we'll That's see. the hope. All right, Susan, thank you.